Okay, new recording session. Uh, the audio in the last two episodes was not great. I'm still sick and hopefully everything works out okay today. Uh, it's kind of a, a stormy day, so you might hear some miscellaneous rain noises outside. But yeah, let's get back into it. Gremlin shop. This seems legit. What could pop? Oh! Ooh, that was lightning outside. Oops. This is gonna be really fun if my power goes out. Welcome, welcome. I am the shop manager here. Ah. This is gonna be good. You pay me P instead of money. You pay with collected points. I hope nature is quite done. I actually really wanted to crank out this recording, but we're not gonna restart for that. I'm not a devil or anything. I'm a pure human. You sure don't look it, buddy. Holy heck. So blow your money here. Oh, I mean, enjoy your shopping. What are you buying? Ointment and energy drink. Temporarily. Yeah. Hmm. I think we'll pass. There doesn't seem like there's anything worth buying at the moment, but... Come again, yo. Anytime, yo. I forgot we can't run. I keep holding down shift like I would actually walk faster. Oops. The fountain is dirty. Let's see if we can read this. Uh... Nope, can't read the plaque. Ooh, I like that. The uh, the little sign there. Very uh, Hong Kong-esque neon character sign. Featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. Oh, never mind. Slums are poor and downtown is bombings. I don't think Burroughs is improving the city at all. Something, something, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Hello again. The slums accepts misfits. Don't look so down. <laughs> yeah, I can only imagine. Oh, now that looks good. Wow. I love that little... Coastal inlet in the right there, upper right. Oh, that looks so good. This game's backgrounds are really something. Been pretty impressed with this and then that sunset scene from way back at the beginning. Now, this is an excellent point to provide sniper fire. Oh, wait. Oh, that, that sunset is what I was talking about. Too many things have happened in such a short time. If I hadn't listened to Mayor Burroughs that day, if I had refused Sybilla's offer in the abandoned building, now I've lost my arms and legs, I can't play the piano anymore. Did you, like, neglect the part where if we, like, get revenge on Burroughs, we get our arms and legs back? Or... And my life is in danger. Everything is my fault. It's my own selfishness. You realize this, like, one day too late. So, I should blame my own stupidity. But I have no right to blame Mayor Burroughs. So Are you serious? This dude tricked you and is using... Other people as proxies to give their lives and various body parts to do his own dirty work, but without his sacrifice. And you're, oh, I can't blame him. He's faultless. Right. I'd like you to think a little bit harder on that. Ooh. Surprise. Kapow. What's going on? There's a fire downtown. That's not accident. No. Oh. Gas leak? Yeah, gas leak. Where's your house? My house? Why do you ask? I thought maybe it was your house that blew up. If they target your family or kidnap someone close to you, they can set a trap to lure you in, you know? Ooh, that was something I didn't think about. Oh, we're screwed. Don't say such terrible things as if they were not a big deal, but that's a legitimate consideration! My house is uptown, so it's far from where the fire is. Jillian's house is downtown, but I rarely go there. Huh, you're an uptown girl. No wonder your last name is hard to say. Try really hard not to say she's an uptown girl. 
Heard a rumor that a bomber has recently appeared in the downtown area. Maybe this explosion is his handiwork as well. Ugh. Hmm. If that's so, if so, that's terrible. Whoa. Burroughs must have some connection to the under underworld. Maybe. That would mean we would have to fight them as well to get to Burroughs. I haven't decided if I want to go up against the mayor. Are you serious? Your your decision at this point is pretty clear cut, considering he just tried to kill you. You know, yesterday night. Don't jump the gun. I must hold myself accountable for my actions, too. Do I have a right to take revenge? Was it was it Hume? We're all equal in the fact that we have an equal opportunity to kill each other, and if anyone is stronger, then we just gang up on them. No, wait a minute. An explosion downtown. You're close to Jillian. Kidnap your family or kidnap... Target your family kidnap someone close to you. Is that a trap? Ah, so they, they got Jillian. Hey, what's wrong? Karen, take me there right now. Downtown? Why? It's time to go shopping. Get in, losers. We're going shopping. My friend may be in danger. They may have kidnapped her because of me. So you're going to walk right into the trap. Excellent choice. Are you asking me... This is a part of our second contract to help you with your revenge on Burroughs? If so, of course I will take you. But if it has nothing to do with your revenge, I can't help you. That's... I can't say if it's revenge yet. Well, I mean, you know, if, if Burroughs got your friend, then you gotta confirm and then do revenge. You're too honest. If you're in a rush, you could have lied or said anything. If I let you go alone, you'll probably be captured by the police and it will all be over. If we want to get there fast, we don't need to use the roads. We can use the rooftops and jump from building to building. <gasps> Parkour! Are you going to help me? I kind of like people who take their contracts seriously. I don't need your answer right now. But make a decision about your revenge very soon. What are you going to do? Of course, we are jumping off. Whoa! Okay, so we've gone from like, ooh, do you remember when we broke into the mayor's residence? I can jump over a small hole in a short step. Go ahead and set up a foothold that you can use. It's much quicker than walking around, we won't bump into anyone. Parkour minigame. Ooh, that's rough. This doesn't look very good on my, I've got my recording in the background there and uh oops all right let's go through the thunder we carry on okay we gotta get there let's see mission open okay to do, do, do jillian and i are close okay I can only assume that it's going to go right there off the edge. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Let's see. We can chain up to here. But from there, what do we do? Aha! I see there's a box here. Will that work? Can I get behind it? Oh, good. Yeah, that... The, uh... The box puzzle in the garden was such a disaster. Breakthrough! No mistake! Oops. Okay. Get a lay of the land here. 
There's a door here. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Hello, anyone home? <gasps> yes! Can we pet it? Well, of course you can't get along with cats, you're a bird. Cute and harmless. They always hiss at me, never trust a cat. Get wrecked. <laughs> no attacking cats, we're a pacifist. Obviously. Can we pet it? This is fake. Zero out of ten. Can't pet cat. Mm. Let's see. Oh, he just grabbed the whole thing. Dang. All right. And then where to next? Okay. Can we... Oh. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Oh, you know. Mm, get wrecked. Injured. Treat me right. Uh-huh. You know, I'm kind of surprised that we didn't get injured more from that last sequence because they were shooting at us the whole time. Unless we're Neo from the Matrix, I don't suppose that, you know, devils can block bullets or whatever. Okay, let's, uh, let's get to the, the bombing site, because we're here to see if our friend is injured, not to talk about the past. Okay. Come on. I kind of decided last time when I tried to read everything, it's a little bit inefficient, so we're gonna... I'm gonna try and minimize some of the side talk here, and, uh, no mistake. Sweet! Good thing that there are a lot of save files in this. They keep giving me a lot of opportunities to do so. I don't think I've saved a whole lot when they didn't prompt me to. What's the deal with the armed police? What are they gonna do? Shoot the fire and put it out? How useful. Can't get any closer. Seen by the cops. This is some series school right here. Survive, evade, resist, escape, or whatever it stands for. It is Jillian's house. Bomber is connected to Burroughs. I can only assume that the bomber was the dude in the gas mask sitting on his desk. Blah, desk. A trap. They want me to show up by hurting someone close to me. They targeted Jillian instead of your family. Because they cannot attack the rich and wealthy. Wow, the, uh, the political commentary is strong in this game. I at least need to know if she is safe. If something happens to her, I... Okay, I'm gonna go see what's going on. I'm trying to find out what the cops know. You, stay put and don't go anywhere. Oh, she's gonna go somewhere. This is how it always goes. Someone might recognize your face as a missing person, I would assume. Can he disguise himself? Or what, are we just gonna, like, we have a, a microphone of some kind? When I'm alone, I feel worried and overthink everything. Oh, same? I never expected anything like this to happen. I never asked for this. It's my fault that Jillian was caught in the middle of all this. Oh, the screen's getting red. You see, this is really scary. I should have been Burroughs' only target. But I told him that I'm close to Jillian, so he's now using her to get to me. No, 
First of all, if I had died right after the first contract, this would not have happened. Or if I had died in the mayor's residence. I'm a murderer who made a deal with the devil after all. This is just what the government wants you to think. Don't worry about it. These are all consequences of my own actions, and I could throw my life away. But I couldn't give up. What if Jillian dies in the explosion? Because of my decision, many people were hurt, including my friend, the girl I got mad at over a competition. On the bright side, she'll never know. If she dies because of this... Ouch. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs! Oh, excuse me. Who is that? I got some strange vibes from him. Yeah, you know, the fact that he's walked around, like, SAS-like with the hoodie and the gas mask doesn't really give it away. And the fact that you might have actually seen him last night in the mansion when he tried to attack you in the hallway, but no. Have I seen him somewhere before? Well... Huh? Something is caught in my dress. What? A letter? What should I do? Well, that's kind of a, a loaded option here. I have no choice. I don't care if it's bad manners. Need a hand? Couldn't resist. Finally, it's open. What is this? Anthrax! This is... I'm back! The family was sent to the hospital but they could not find their oldest daughter, Jillian Littner. The worst case scenario, she was obliterated by the bomb. Hey, what are you doing on the ground? This. What is in your mouth? Is that a letter? Where did you get it? I want to know what it says. Come on. If you don't want to see your friend get hurt, come to the abandoned steelworks in 24 hours. The bomber. Ooh, scary. Unlimited steelworks. How did you get this? I just bumped into a stranger. And I noticed the letter was in my dress right after. Very like cryptic CIA drop off point kind of deal going on here. I don't think I need to ask you this, but it wasn't Burroughs himself. He was wearing a mask, but he had a very strange vibe and his voice wasn't Mayor Burroughs. Well, just like chess, the king does not come out to the front lines. The bomber. I guess he is the bomber everyone is talking about, yes. What do you want to do? This is definitely his way of provoking you. If we go, they're bound to have a warm welcome prepared for us. It's possible they'll even have tanks. Oh man, what's the, uh... There's a Bond film like that, and I can't remember which one, with Timothy Dalton. License to Kill? Where he just gets nearly obliterated by a tank in just a house. Maybe you're right, but I cannot leave Jillian in their filthy hands. You mongrel. That's unacceptable. I can't sacrifice Jillian to save my own skin. I don't want to run away. So you're going to rescue Jillian, even though you know your life will be in danger? I know you. You're going to. Sacrifice yourself to rescue Jillian, is that right? Sometimes the, the spacing on this is a little weird. I've been trying to not say a whole lot about it, but things like that where it cuts off like, oh, okay, I know you, dot, dot, but nope, to sacrifice yourself. Dots. I don't understand your hesitation about taking revenge. You're already prepared to sacrifice yourself. What is holding you back? Do you hate the idea of getting back at them for what they did that much? That's fine. Either way, you have no choice but to fight if you want to rescue Jillian. I like the, the epic music going on. It's not as if they'll just release Jillian as long as you show up. If that's what you think, then you're very naive. Yeah, we've, we've kind of established that, yeah. Why? Burroughs has no reason to kill Jillian. He could be a psychopath. Actually, the opposite. He doesn't have a reason to keep her alive. They hired Bomber and blew up her house just to kidnap Jillian. Yeah, this is a pretty nasty game we're playing here. Not asking you to decide everything about your future right now, but if you at least want to rescue Jillian, we can't avoid a battle with Bomber, so prepare yourself. Yes, you're right. 
Her first priority is to rescue Jillian. Karen, let's go to the abandoned steelworks. Okay. Let's see when the game ends, because I've been off every single time. I assume we'll have a tough battle to fight. We should prepare well for it, even if we're in a hurry. Once you buy all the supplies we need, we'll head to the abandoned steelworks. Use the exit in the south slums. Gather our belongings. Let's see if there are any free items. Oh wait, we can't pick anything up. Shoot. I think let's let's grab some of those items then. I took a pass initially, but this is kind of a jazzy soundtrack here. Okay. Ooh, that's a lot. Uh let's see. Hmm. Let's do another energy drink. Cover damage sounds good. And we have an ointment already. Let's save. If I if I die, I'll come back and buy more. All right, let's go. Dressel Steel Mill Circumference. Oh boy. Ooh, I like this. Sounds good. Been listening to a lot of uh, the soundtrack of Fate, Stay Night, Unlimited Blade Works, and this reminds me a bit of it. Oh, whoa. There's definitely some good free asset music, and so far I haven't received any copyright claims, so they're doing a pretty good job of picking tracks. The law has no meanings. Oh, frag out. Here he comes. He's the one who gave me the letter. I just kind of noticed that the bomber in his on the lower right hand side of the screen, I think that's supposed to be... A grenade? I don't really know. How do you do, Noel Cerchetti, Great Devil Karen? Did you read my love letter? I'm very- Oh no. Please don't actually be in love with us. I'm very pleased to meet you both. I saw him at the mayor's residence. Where's Jillian? Is she alive? She has nothing to do with this. Release her at once. Chill out? She's still alive? A hostage should be alive, don't you think? Well, yeah. I was busy fighting at the residence, so I did not notice. But I feel... Are you? I'm Fugo Dressel, but everyone calls me Bomber. Oh, so you own the steel mill? Demon of explosions. Oh, wait a minute. It took me a second to kind of comprehend the... The anatomy on that. I thought his hand was just like a... Lengthy gibbon hand or something. And he's got grenades. I guess the devil has a sensitive nose, and I don't need to tell you that. I'm a demon who sold my soul to a devil. Oh, whoops, I've been using those terms interchangeably. I'm the same as you, Noel Cerchetti. Want to be friends? I can only imagine that you're either horribly disfigured or you have no face, given the nature of a contract. What is a demon? Is this a demon? That's the name for people who sold their souls to the devil. Those of them who are proud of selling their souls, call themselves demon. Demon. Each demonian, demonium, uh, demonian has their own nickname they go by. I love bombs and I got a body that can never burn. So I'm Bomber. Fugo the Bomber. Bomber man. What about you, Noel? What do you mean? I'm asking you if you have an awesome nickname. Full Metal Alchemist. You're hanging out with one, so I guess you made a deal too, right? So you should get a nickname. Having a nickname is good manners for a crazy battle. I don't know about that one. We should have just killed him here, instead of talking. Could have just sniped him off or something, but no. I don't have one and I don't care. Just release Jillian. 
You're just a wimp. Burroughs told me I might get a chance to fight a demon. I've been looking forward to it, but you're just a damn kid. No wonder I didn't feel anything when I walked by you in the back alley. You know I could have killed you right then? Had it not been for the laws of this country, I would have slaughtered you. Aww. But you didn't, and I didn't kill you now, so we're even. If I'd kill you then, it definitely would have caused a commotion. I'm becoming pretty famous downtown. I hunger for more. I've burned so many things. Okay, Pyro, chill. But humans die so easily, there's no satisfaction left to it. I want to blow up a devil. I want to burn something powerful and supernatural. I want to know how a devil will burn and hear the screams. What color the flames will be, I wonder. Now tell me! He's crazy. I can't reason with him. Thanks. I really appreciate the, uh, the advice, Captain Obvious. People who made a deal with the devil are all monsters and can't fit into society. Come on, Noel, fight me if you want to get your friend back. If you can't fight, use the devil and try to defeat me. But if you can't even do that, then you and the hostage will just turn into a pile of ash. This has gone on for way too long. Let's just... Let's get the ball rolling here. Come on, got things to do. People to kill. Jillian will die if I leave her in his hands. I know. Let's go after him and take down his arrogant ass. Come on. Yeah. Hmm. Question mark? Dressel Steel Mill 1. Huh. Bomber's gang. I think you already know what I'm going to say, but stay behind me. Okay. Let's go. Are they going to jump me, or what? Ooh. I forgot that she only takes one hit. Oops. Yeah, combat... Not so good.